Yo, this is the Scar City Studios YouTube channel. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And our sponsors are Alpha Claims and Hire Birmingham, the leading and best accident management company. Get a replacement car anywhere in one hour. It seems like every other day we've got a story on Encro Chat and today is no different. We've got a playlist dedicated to just the Encro Chat cases due to the fact of how many there has been. And due to the fact of us covering this from the very beginning, we've also been able to find indiscrepancies in some of the cases as well, highlighted in the most recent episode featuring Miles Headley, also known as M. Skeng from 6-7. He's the first person to actually beat an Encro chat case, thanks to the help from his solicitors. And we was in close contact with his defence solicitor in order to be able to tell that story accurately and give you the, the real facts, which no newspaper actually did either. So I know a lot of people feel like we do cover just what has happened, and that is the idea of the channel, but at the same time, we will pick up on anything that doesn't add up, and we always try to be fair. In this breaking news story, police have revealed that an EncroChat raid in Birmingham found £1.6 million in cash hidden under a divan bed. Police also found two kilograms of cocaine inside a car and 56 grand in a wardrobe in a separate raid connected to the same case. The raid on a flat in Sutton Coldfield as part of Operation Venetic uncovered the cash inside drawers of a double bed. On the left side of the bed, the cash had been counted and in the right were bags of uncounted cash. On the bags were written dates and names of Encro Chat crime group's names as well as professional electric cash counting machines were also seized alongside a ledger showing cash collection records. They also found digital scales and heat sealing machines and plastic pouches likely to have been used to seal one kilogram blocks of drugs. Two men aged 45 were arrested as part of the investigation and released on bail. A man aged 37 was also arrested in connection to the two kilograms and 56 grand found under a bed in the second separate Birmingham raid. EncroChat was a phone network and a messaging application used by criminals across Europe to sell drugs, guns and plan their activities. The covert operation by police in France and Holland managed to hack the encrypted system and provided police across Europe access to the messages. They have seen 83 arrests in Merseyside alone. The recovery of the money they say was excellent and nobody has come forward to claim it as their own and at Birmingham Crown Court on Friday, 1.6 million is been returned to the government. So 1.6 million. If I've learned anything from covering all these stories, is that you'd be amazed what people leave inside the house. In another breaking news story in relation to EncroChat, coming via the Liverpool Echo newspaper, police say they've discovered money and cannabis resin in the Highton area as part of a mobile phone encryption probe. They called it Super Lemon Haze Hash, and they've seized several men in this raid. They say they are drug dealers and they found the drugs when they kicked off the doors in morning raids in connection to EncroChat. Police have released images of the drugs and bags of resin labelled Super Lemon Haze, which is a strain of the Class B drug. Bundles of cash were retrieved at homes in the Highton area this morning. The raids were carried out at addresses on Montgomery Road and Baker's Green Road as part of Operation Venetic, a major police probe into the use of encrypted mobile devices. Two men have been arrested following the swoops. And a Merseyside police spokesman said, We have arrested people in Highton and seized a quantity of drugs and money this morning on Thursday the 22nd of April. At around 7am, officers entered the addresses and arrested a 31-year-old male on conspiracy to supply cannabis. Following a search of the address, they discovered cash and Class B drugs and the Operation Venetic involves European law enforcement agencies and the National Crime Agency, as well as the UK police and regional organised crime units. Around 60,000 users of EncroChat were identified worldwide and 10,000 at minimum were found in the UK and they believe the vast majority were coordinating drugs and weapon distribution in the country. Detective Inspector Christopher Lowe said today's arrests come as part of a national investigation into EncroChat mobile phones and the supply of drugs around the UK. Those involved in the distribution of dangerous drugs and weapons and cause misery to communities are the target of this proactive operation. He said we cannot do this without the help of the public. 
So this is two stories already just breaking. And I'm sure there's definitely going to be more to come. Please don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. Don't forget to check out our playlist to get up to date with all the Encro Chat news. I'll be back again very shortly with some more news. Peace.